Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourself this weekend. Now, I came across this article here and I just wanted to go ahead and uh, make a video about it. And the reason why is because after I read it, it, it reminded me of the reason why I even got into investing in XRP, which is by far my biggest investment. Now, there, there's a lot going on there. I mean, in the last few months, it has, <laughs> the world has been turned on its head. But one thing I am definitely assured of is that Ripple and XRP is, is and always will be the best investment we have ever made in our lives. Okay, um, and, and, and actually, I find it kind of funny that through all of this, all of the things that have, that have been happening, Ripple has quietly and slowly been gaining more and more ground. Okay, I, I really believe here, I mean, who knows exactly how long, but in the fairly near future, we will see everything that we've ever expected from XRP. Yes, things take some time to to build, right? Um, and considering the things that have happened, you know, it did slow things down a bit. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of go over some of the highlights on this article. Uh, now, the original information was uh, posted by Ripple itself, but I just find it very encouraging to see what's happening uh, despite all the craziness that's that's going on in the world right now here like I said I'm just gonna kinda uh, do a little highlight uh, strafing here but uh, all, the, all in all it's it's great information so here governments that once viewed digital assets as a threat now see how companies like Ripple are working closely with traditional financial institution, institutions to develop efficient innovative global payment solutions that directly benefit businesses and individuals so guys it, it, nothing's changed with ripple right the use of xrp will be the same connecting networks connecting individuals uh connecting businesses and banks yeah i mean it's the same thing yes it has transformed a little bit is it, and and it's more of a metamorphosis than anything Right. That's that's the way I see it. I do believe um, what we see that will come out on the other side of this is going to be rather spectacular. Now, yes, there are a whole lot of other things that uh, have to be considered here. And, and as far as I'm concerned, I always look at the effects of the things that we're we're seeing right now. Yes, we are moving to a digital, a fully digital financial system which is part of the reason why we're seeing the things that are happening today right with this whole uh, shutdown and everything but uh, we have to be you know very uh, um, aware of the facts here this thing is happening now will does that mean that there will not be any fiat uh, I think eventually we'll move to that but for the meantime, there will be a hybrid financial system, I guess I should say. And all in all, this is extremely interesting to see this happen in our lifetime. I mean, the, the things that we have seen just in the past few years, I, I got to be honest with you, I doubt if people in the past would have ever seen such change in their entire lives, right? So uh, just it's just amazing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go here, go on here. Uh, while countries like China are expecting to go into production with their CBDCs this year and focus on domestic use cases, a world of CBDCs will require networking as a result of the global economy, Wallace said. Now, again, this is what XRP was built for. This is what Ripple has been pushing for. Uh, it, I know the entire time I've had any knowledge of it. And to move on here, while focusing on domestic use cases is un understandable for individual countries, we live in an, in an increasingly interconnected global economy. It will be critical to bridge gaps between the various CBDC 
initiatives with existing payment systems as well as other digital currencies to ensure they are successful on a global scale. And, you know, this is a good point. There won't be just one cryptocurrency. Now, will there be 5,000 or more? No, no, by, by no means. But it won't just be one cryptocurrency being used. Um, I was looking uh, at a video earlier um, about Ant Financial. Yeah, I think uh, Sam had put that out. But there will be many other cryptocurrencies for all types of use cases, right? So uh, does that mean that any market share is taken from, uh, you know, un from Ripple or anything else? Not necessarily. I mean, they're in different sectors and, and they have different use cases. So uh, all in all, there's enough room for it all. I mean, guys, there there's a lot of money out there. There is a lot of fiat um, on a daily basis being transacted. We know in the in, in the into the trillions. So and then on top of that, not that's not even speaking about the amount of debt uh, that's that's being shared all around the world. So there there's a lot more to this than than most of us really understand. Uh, it says here, RippleNet is predestined to create a network of networks. Absolutely that will significantly increase the benefits of individual CBDCs. Specifically, Ripple sees neutral bridge assets as a solution to enable a smooth exchange of values between different CBDCs without each one having to solve the liquidity problems. Exactly, associated with cross-border transactions. Now, also guys, one thing that I would say that we should possibly be uh, ready for is uh, kind of like how they treated gold, right? Uh, a total buyout of XRP. Now, hopefully we don't end up getting uh, kind of screwed around like people did when uh, when they did the gold buyouts. Uh, but I, I don't rule that out by any means because if XRP is in uh, high demand, uh, for these cross-border payments, and if it gets to the point where the liquidity is 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 affected, then we could we could be looking at uh, a uh, a forced buyout, right? And it's not like you can go and hide it in a you know in in an in an attic or anything like that um, or attic. Uh, but um, all in all, it could end up turning out for the best as far as we're concerned. But remains to be seen hopefully it doesn't necessarily come to that uh, and like I said even if it does uh, I would I would feel good at you know f at a three digit you know XRP or something like that I mean that's that's total speculation I'm not I'm not saying that's where it will be don't get me wrong but all in all I think that it if that does happen it just needs to be fair to us I mean we've been holding for a very long time and uh, if it is a forced situation, I mean, I would just say, please treat us fairly to those uh, powers that be, if you hear me. All right. And the last thing here, XRP is faster, less costly, and more scalable than any other digital asset, making it the ideal instrument in bringing two different currencies quickly. Uh, I'm sorry, in bridging two different currencies quickly and efficiently. Using a, new, using a neutral and efficient digital asset like XRP also reduces the hegemonic influences of most powerful nations and helps level the playing field in playing field and in international trade payment systems. So uh, yes, absolutely. We we already you know we've, we've talked about this many times. Uh, it does uh, level the playing field. That's something that has been said so many times, but it is it is so true because. If you look at uh, the way these nations are set up, you know, the, the ones with the larger GDP usually get treated better, like the U.S. All in all, it XRP can do exactly that, level the playing field and um, really create a, uh, a more harmonic uh, interaction between all of these nations. And ultimately, as I mentioned, have us all in a much better place than we entered into this investment. So guys, I know that ultimately 
where we end up will be much better. And also, guys, being that the prices are where they are, I I don't know about you, but I'm still buying. I don't I don't stop, and I know you guys probably are too. But that's that's my kind of outlook on this, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now remember, guys, if you have not done so already, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and hit that post notification button so you know when I post it again. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves. You got it.